Hey guys and girls, welcome back. This is tutorial 7. Uh, this is for the uh, basic game maker tutorial series, uh, tank game, capture the flag style. So today we are going to be looking at creating um, or allowing our player to actually fire the projector we created in tutorial 6. So we need to um, create some variables and adjust the settings. So the first thing we're gonna do is open the OBJ player. Okay, there's our OBJ player. We need to create an event, and that event is going to be a create event. We're gonna add a set variable. So control tab. That variable. I'm going to call it can fire, and we're going to set the value to a boolean, which is true. Okay. You don't need to uh, tick relative. Okay, once you've done that, you need to add a second event, and this event is going to be a, a keyboard event, and it's going to be the space bar. Okay. We want to add a test variable, and it's this middle variable here. Okay. And we're going to set the variable, like the variable property in here to can fire. And we're going to set the value to true. And leave that as equal to. And click OK. Okay, and this uh, tests if the variable can fire is equal to true. Um, if it does, then run the next set of instructions to release the projectile. Otherwise, if it's not true, it's not going to do anything. Okay, uh, we need to create a code block inside this space event. So start block of code, okay, and that's under the control tab. Put your start code in. And as you can see, it's indented it. And there's your code indentation. And let's move on. So under the main one tab, we want to add a create moving. Now we've got create moving here. And we want to set it to OBJ projectile. Um, X is going to be X. Y is going to be Y. With a speed of 6 or 7, which is 6. And direction to image underscore angle. Leave relative unticked and click OK. So what this is doing is it's creating a new projector object at the player's uh, X and Y coordinates, where the player is on the screen. Launches it at a speed of 6 in the direction that the sprite is facing, so out of the front of the cannon um, and at a speed of 6. We now want to add a uh, new set variable under control set variable okay and that's going to be can fire and we're going to have that set to false and you can just click OK and it sets the can fire variable to false so that the player cannot fire until it is set to true again so it's got your sort of spammy Good. So we now want to um, add a new set alarm, zero, on main two. Main two. Set alarm zero. Uh, Going to add 30 as the number of steps. Remember that's uh, one second. 
Uh, so that will count one second between each uh, time the projectile is fired to avoid a uh, sort of stream like a, a laser, a continuous laser beam. Okay, so we click OK on that. And then what we want to do is uh, from the control tab just end our block of code. And that's essentially ending um, our if statement. So essentially what we're doing is if can fire is equal to true, start the code, create the moving instance, set a variable can fire to false, wait at one second, end block, and then if you press the space bar again, you can fire again. So it's uh, setting a bit of a delay between shots. We're now going to add another event, and we're going to obviously add the alarm zero. So this is when that alarm is triggered, we want it to do something. So add an alarm zero. So we've added the alarm zero event, and what we're going to do is add a new uh, set variable action. I'm going to call that can fire true. <clears throat> Sorry, can fire, and we'll set the value to true. Click OK. So, um, this is triggered when alarm zero counts down from 30 steps to one. Um, if set can fire variable, uh, it sets the can fire variable back to true, allowing the player to reload and shoot again, essentially. And you should see this working when we get to the test stage of the tutorial. So we can go ahead and close that. And what we're gonna do now is set the uh, enemy projectile collisions. So we're gonna open our OBJ enemy and add a collision event. Add event, collision with OBJ projectile. So when the enemy is hit by the projectile, we want to uh, do something. So we're gonna add a create effect. So under draw, create effect. Um, we're gonna set the type to firework. Uh, size, we want to be medium. Uh, we're going to choose a color, anything other than white is fine. Okay, uh, relative and click OK. We now need to, um, so basically when the, what we've just done is when the obstacle enemy uh, connects or crashes or gets hit by the obstacle, um, the projectile, we are creating a little bit of an explosion but both items would still sort of remain on the screen, so we need them to disappear. So we're gonna add a destroy instance action from uh, sort of main tab one. We're gonna add the destroy instance action. And what we want it to do is uh, apply the action to the other object in the properties box. Other and we can click OK. And so that destroys the other one. We also want it to draw it, destroy itself. We should have this two destroy two instances in there. So one will destroy the enemy and one will destroy the thing it touches, which is the projectile. OK, so let's click OK. And we are now at a stage where we can test our game. We should have movement. We should have enemies that spawn and move. Um, we should be able to fire a projectile, have that projectile create some effects when it hits the, the walls. And when it hits the OBJ enemy, it should destroy it. So let's see what happens. So we've got our movement, we've got our enemies spawning. Uh, when I hit the space bar, yes, we have a projectile and it moves and it does disappear after um, sort of three seconds, which is fantastic. And let's see if I can actually hit something. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. We have a game um, that is for all intents and purposes working. Um, 
however we still don't have lives uh, we can still move through things so a few uh, little tweaks coming up in the next tutorial